Hello and welcome to our brand new series, A Word From Our Sponsors. So this is the show where we're going to hop through time and space, go watch retro commercials and bumpers and anything that uh, would have played on your favorite television station back in the day, except for the cartoons and TV shows themselves because copyright issues. So today's tape is from about 2003, 2002. It's got Nickelodeon, ABC Family, and a little bit of Disney and some other things that have been overridden and chopped up but eh, whatever so anyway uh as always if you want to watch the raw unedited commercials you can go down to the description below to watch them or click the card above we also got a playlist that's on our channel where you can find them there as well all right so we good to go yeah i think we're ready let's Here get we go. started hands off the road all right, so the first thing we have here is Nickelodeon's You Pick Live, which I don't really remember too much about it. I guess it was kind of like, a, what was it, Total Request Live from MTV TRL, where, you know, kids could technically pick the show they wanted to watch. I'm not sure, um, but the characters were always pretty crazy. Like, there's Pick Boy, there's a luchador named Garbaggio, and... A, a cow suit for some reason and people in bathrobes yeah uh, i don't i don't i don't know why I, this is where the tape literally starts so i got nothing but uh so yeah this uh new fairly odd parents episode is information super highway which puts this tape around 2002 2003 because i believe that's whenever the episode launched so. That's totally in our Nickelodeon heyday. Yeah, and uh, you can see right here, literally a, a bumper from it. And uh, yeah, apparently there was some kind of game that you could play. I don't know too much about it. Um, I haven't looked into if it's been archived or anything, but y your score could be shown and whatnot if you actually did pretty well on it. Yell fudge. Elf fudge. <laughs> Are you ready for the wild? Oh, Rainbow Bright. This takes me That's way Rainbow back. Art. Rainbow Art. Oops. Yeah, no, wrong. <laughs> Rainbow Bright. No, Rainbow Art. I always thought that looked so cool. Like, that is so fun and appealing. Yeah, but knowing your dad, it was probably too messy. Also, he would never do, like, mail or TV stuff. That's right. My dad totally wouldn't go for that. But my grandmother might. She was into that Marvin's Magic line of products, like, with uh, magic tricks and markers. I actually have some of the Marvin's Magic color changes. Pens. I wonder if this is actually like not messy, right? Like, like I, wishful thinking, but I it's seriously like watercolor it. or oh, there's there's your magic pens. That yeah, you're talking about. I, don't, I, don't, I have those. I wonder how this technology works. I don't know anything about it, but it looks kind of cool. I don't know, but that whole mess free 20, thing. Twenty bucks isn't that bad. You can get some some like that. No, I mean, no, nah, you can get stuff like that at our, uh, Walmart. I'm gonna eBay that. Like, I want to see if that's available. That would be fun to have. Yeah. Hmm. 20 bucks plus $6 shipping and handling plus sales tax. Eh, not unreasonable. Ooh, Muzzy. Muzzy. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, it's been forever. Is Muzzy still even a thing? I don't think so. I know, actually, it's funny that you mentioned this. Uh, I know John Riggs actually found a set of these Muzzy, like, VHS tapes at his local oh, Goodwill cool. last uh, month. Created by the BBC. I didn't know that. Science huh. shows they're more confident, often getting better grades. Better I, don't, I don't know if better yeah. grades will really affect someone that's in, what, fifth or lower grades? I wonder how much this is. Like, mm. I don't, I don't think they've shown the price yet. No, they haven't. Earlyadvantage.com. Is that the company that owns Muzzy, or what? I don't know. Oh, man, no, no Japanese, Japanese Muzzy? Oh, <laughs> oh, six payments of twenty eight seventeen well, plus shipping and handling, of course. Just there's your answer. That's, like, literally the price of... Of Rosetta Stone, except for exclusively for kids. I mean, Muzzy for adults. Oh, I would be Muzzy for adults. Uh, sure. Now on DVD, Aaron. Oh, wow. yeah. VHS, radical technology. <laughs> They've arrived. Congratulations. The brand new Nicktoon episode. Oh, this is an interesting, weird Ooh. bumper. I don't know. It's kind of weird with Nickelodeon's humor that they always do. It was so edgy and weird. That's nothing edgy. That's Well, no. Oh, like... Rocket Power. Ah, that's oh. Jimmy Neutron. Rocket I, Power I love... reminds me of our secret handshake. Woogity, woogity, woogity. All week at 8.30, 7.30 Central starting next Monday. They're not huh. just cartoons. Oh. Next Monday. Not our Monday. No. <laughs> not a while Monday. back ago. <laughs> Okay, so this would still be on Information Stupid Highway. Yeah. And now you edited out the cartoons. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I did. Oh, well, you know, I already have a lot to risk with copyright ding, so I didn't want to potentially bump into that. Right. You know, I wonder, 
if those are real names and real scores or if that was girl just one oh, that's kind of dating it that's a handle of its time for yeah. sure i i'm nsync boy i could be that <laughs> no you're the backstreet boy yeah Hellbell, Soulbug, sure yeah, nothing really not unique. No, nah, those could have been today's. A lot of, what, look, I have 60,000 I thought it said there. Must be the low but threshold. In, right, 60,000 on a scale of what to what. I mean, who knows? Yeah. There's Elf Fudge again. Hmm, tricks, that's pretty good. Okay, never mind. Light Bright it is. This, <laughs> Light I, I, it's more fun. Actually, look at this, this quad cube Light Bright. You know, that's a cool idea, because like, if you make something you're really proud of, you don't have to get rid of it and you can just work on another side. Yeah, you could spin it around. I always never really liked light brights though, because it just seemed like, you know, the house fire starter kit. They always Aww. got really warm and just kind of smelled like burning plastic. I never had that experience. Ooh, look at that, the, the speed like ones. Multi yeah. <laughs> hey kids, want to speed run your light bright? <laughs> Oh, oh free bite of foot. Yeah. Can still get those at the store. This is a very weird animatronic puppet looking thing. Haven't we seen this on like I don't know, i was this a cursed commercial on Chadtronic? Maybe. I mean it's definitely I really weird. Feel like, like I, remember I don't like this. the the kind of berry white esque uh, music in the background. Berry tie dye. Does that flavor even exist anymore? I don't know, I'd eat it. That's not what I asked. And cherry rage. <laughs> well, I, hey, but you know, cherry rage sounds pretty good. I always love cherry anything. So. Barbie, my favorite. Oh, I was such a Barbie kid growing up. So, I actually. Do you actually have the Volkswagen bus? I didn't have the bus, but I did have a Barbie Volkswagen. It was the Beetle, and oh, I remember it was dark common, purple. Yeah. And I actually Ooh, had a blue. couple of like licensed vehicles. I remember having like a Corvette and a Vespa. My Barbie's road in style, dude. That's pretty fancy, yeah. I think we still have them packaged away somewhere. We should look at yeah, them sometime. Kind of need your own channel for it. that one. Oh my I don't gosh. know if anybody here cares about Barbie. Game and Barbie? No. <laughs> oh, I remember this commercial. It's really weird because I think it explodes out the mouth of the alligator or crocodile. Uh, I round, don't remember round, which one. Round snoot, so it's an alligator. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because Crocodile's got a little bit Sunny more Sunny D, Sunny Delight. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, When's the last time they've actually been called Sunny Delight? I don't remember. Are they? Yeah, when they're, we were they're in Sunny school, D. Like, especially sure. whenever we got the lemonade and all that and stuff right. recently. It's I, When did it change? I, I was addicted to Sunny D in high school. I feel like it was over 10 years ago. Now you can own all the greatest songs. Oh, man. I'd love to be in Disney World or Disneyland right now. Two Except words. for no, no small, small world. Though. Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. That's where I really want to go. One day, whenever the world stops sucking and yeah. we're confined to watching retro cartoons. You know, I remember this, this CD set. My neighbor across the street had them growing up, and we spent a lot of time listening to them. It was either that or Rascal Flats. We didn't listen to a lot of diverse music. Oh, you you cool. can skip Small World on that. We don't need that one. Go to the you know Tarzan with uh, Phil Collins oh, or yeah, Lion or Elton King. John. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. It's actually pretty good. That's awesome. Okay, so fairly odd parents. Are you afraid of the dark? Okay, that's confusing to me. Are you afraid of the dark? I remember that show being on in the 90s, right? So why are they advertising it in the 2000s? Was there well, like it a... It been syndicated. That's I know true. that it's also had several revivals. I mean, Nick is not... I, I want to watch um, episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because I, I totally missed that as a kid. Nick is not like new to rerunning and rebooting their shows like Double Dare versus Double Dare 2000. Yeah, no, it's, it's happened a lot. Even I think like Nick Arcade came back and that was a pretty short-lived one too. Right. Anyway, oh, your reminder for Lizzie McGuire. Ah, yes. I'll be sure to tune into that. I bet uh, that was well, your sister. Maybe. We, you know, had the whole entire, uh, this was our charter cable package, so you could bookmark shows and it'll skip to it. Um, yeah, it might have been some Lauren watch because I, I, she probably liked Lizzie McGuire and all that. Also, also this is the Dill era of Rugrats, looks like. Oh. Shining very stars. Very strange looking thing. 
I mean, I, I've seen more creepy dolls than this. Oh, yeah. talking about creepy dolls, you would love baby lickety treats. What? <laughs> that was a doll that I had growing up, baby lickety treats. What kind of she name had, is that? Okay, so she had like a magnetic tongue, and oh there was like God. iron in her like little lollipop, and you could like attach the tongue to the lollipop, and she would like actually lick it. Like, that, okay, we need to show a picture of that or something. That, that sounds terrifying. Oh, it was fun. Think like a little girl. No, no, they always have the creepy faces. <laughs> uh, I'll no. pass. You're such a boy. Watch this. Why does that look like Goddard from Jimmy Neutron? Yeah, kinda. That reminds I, I me can, of Goddard. I can see it. Explosion of a zillion sweet pieces. <laughs> You know, I find it really strange that Ooh, The Flintstones, which is a show from the 60s, was being used in the 90s and the 2000s to advertise cereal. Well, like Seems the, like an odd the, choice. The Flintstones property completely survived off of the back of vitamins and, uh, what, the Fruity Pebbles cereal. And, you know, like, it's pretty much just advertisements because the show died in the 90s. Oh, oh yes! Lord. This is my wheelhouse. Oh, the Hamtaro Ham Ham Clubhouse. Yeah, no, it's literally in our basement. Yes, it's in our basement right now, and shameless plug, we actually just released a, a Hamtaro Game & Browse episode, so you should definitely check that out. But Yeah, now, now that was not in, like, planned or anything. I did not pick this tape because it had the Hamtaro commercial, but that said, you should go watch the video. Definitely. Please well, it just that. kind of makes sense because all of this was happening when we were in elementary school, so all of this was relevant at the time. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a cool thing to find. Yeah, for sure. I love seeing that on there. It's always coolest seeing commercials for products you have. Oh, yeah, totally. That's the best. Tired of hair that's Ooh. always the same? Oh, this, oh, yes. Go ahead. Burn some stuff into your hair. Oh, my parents would never have let me have this as a kid. They'd be afraid that I'd, like, burn my hair or well, burn yeah, myself it, it, or it, it looks... melt plastic. That has to smell. Like, you've smelled burning hair. Yeah, it looks terrible and smells terrible. Woof. Uh, they probably would have been right. I probably would have burned myself. Safe for girls any age to you. You'll have beautiful straight hair almost instantly. You get the styler along with iron on patches for your hair. That's basically all this is. Ooh, a special bonus. Backpack. Well, it's not bad. Is it a roller bag or is it just a backpack? Five pockets. Ah, oh, yeah, see, it bag. is a roller. Hmm. That's cool. Those That's were really cool, Americans. It looks like it would probably rip apart if you put anything heavy in it, though. So it's basically an iron-on patch for your hair, a hair straightener, and a backpack for $20 plus 9 S and H. That's not that bad. I wouldn't no. trust it at all, though. It seems like it probably, like, the cable would melt and catch on fire. Who knows? The early 2000s were a weird time. Yeah. 